Good evening. Where were you? That's not what I asked. Where were you? That's not where you said you were gonna be. It does matter. <laughs> it matters because you're lying to me. Why are you lying to me? <sighs> I just... I want to trust you. <laughs> but if you're lying, there's obviously a reason. And I just... Uh, it's hard for me to trust you when you're not being truthful. I feel like... I feel like... It's normal for me to feel like this, especially since you're lying. <laughs> Listen. Honey, <laughs> I don't care what you were doing or where you were at. I just want to know where you're at. No, that's not me being controlling. That's me being aware of where you are in case anything happens. Like, what happens if there's like a giant accident in a part of town that you say you're at, but you're not actually there? So I'm freaking out worrying about you because I think you're at the place of where something terrible has happened when in fact you're not. So I'm stressing myself worrying about you when you're not even there. What about then? Does the lying not matter then? <sighs> accidents are accidents. There's no like lottery winner that gets into accidents. They just happen. They can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just... <sighs> to be honest... I don't know what to feel right now. I've had a lot of things going through my head the last few hours when I was trying to figure out where you could have gone. Why you weren't answering your phone. And, um... I think my brain is just hyperactive right now. So to be honest, thinking of right words and right sentence that makes sense is just a little difficult right now. And honestly, it's getting really hard to function without you. Because, you know, when I get too angry, you calm me down. When I get too sad, you cheer me up. When I'm happy, you try to make it last as long as possible. And you just make me feel safe. And now you're lying? Like, at this point, I don't even care what you're doing. I just want you. And I feel like I'm losing you. I feel like you're slipping right out of my grasp and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I mean, the, uh, the past two weeks you've been so distant, so busy. I feel like I know nothing that you're doing anymore. I know nothing about the things you're up to these past two weeks. 
I just want to know what's going on. I just want to be on the same page. Are you laughing? <sighs> Ouch. Kind of hurts my feelings that you're laughing. <sighs> yes, you can explain why you're laughing. What? I'm misunderstanding everything? Um. Okay, how? I mean, if I'm misunderstanding it, then make me understand. What do you mean you can't? It's a surprise? Babe, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think with the tone of the room right now, a surprise isn't making me the most excited thing ever. I mean, I don't know. What if it's just like, surprise, <laughs> I have a new girlfriend and I'm over you. Bye. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Stop. I'm, it's not funny. I'm upset. Where were you? <laughs> Yeah, I want to know. What do you mean, even if it ruins it? Okay, yeah, and I, yeah, I want to know. You're scaring me. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> I'll ruin the surprise. I don't understand. Why were you getting so distant and so busy if you were just getting me a birthday present? Is it expensive? What? You picked up another job? Are you crazy? Open it. Okay, let me see. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. That looks real. Oh my goodness. You're crazy. That's such a beautiful necklace. I, I'm, I'm speech like I'm speechless. This is so beautiful, and now I feel really bad. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. This is so kind of you. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> oh, come here. Mm. I can't believe you did all that work. That was absolutely amazing of you. You really didn't have to do that. Well, I thank you very much. This is by far the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. And I'm sorry if I seemed a little, I don't know, earlier. If I'm being really honest, I think I'm just insecure. I don't know. I think, personally, I'm a really flawed human. I have 
quirks and problems and all of these extra bags that most people don't have. And I'm a lot to handle, believe me, I know it. And you're amazing. I can't speak enough about how out of my league you are, how good you are, how beautiful you are, how beautiful your soul is, and how I just don't deserve you. <sighs> I'm so grateful to have you because honestly you make me feel so much better and I think that I think that I saw you being busier and it looked like you were pulling away and I was just so scared I wasn't enough for you anymore. So, I'm sorry for the way I acted. It wasn't fair towards you. And thank you for giving up so much of your time and so much of your energy to get me this. It is so beautiful and it means so much to me now, and I love you, and I'm so grateful for you. Mm -hmm. Well, considering the sun is about to rise, neither of us have slept. I can surely say that I am exhausted. Are you tired? Mm. Well, I want to sleep, so you're more than welcome to join me. Assuming you'll let me spend the night. Otherwise, I'll just go home. <laughs> no, I can stay. Well, thank you. <sighs> yeah, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Come on, let's go to bed. <laughs>